That actually works out fairly well for me. But I'm not quite sure if there's really much I can do in here. I can, like, get Cooper Shell or whatever the fuzzies get for Cooper Shell. But I think before I get too carried away with this... <laughs> of course it's Goom Nuts. Why would it be something useful? Oh, hey, Chuck Quizmo. There you are. Oh, I, I mean, I, I won't complain about a free source of Dizzy Dials. Fairly easy to access, too, unlike the Koopa Leaf thing. Yeah, definitely gonna take that over the Goob Nuts thing. Like, yeah, Dark Star, why would I need to <laughs> worry about that? Like, this isn't Dark Star. There's no reason for me to really worry about the Goom Nut or the Koopa Leaf. I'm kind of... Mm, you know what? Change of plans. I'm gonna explore around here a little bit. Oh, I forgot. There's also a letter. <laughs> Just for story pieces, but at least it's one less thing I have to worry about. Yeah, you know what? While I'm here, I might as well at least get the uh, common notes out of the way. I'm kind of curious how fuzzies are going to work here, though. Because HP skilling is probably going to be in my favor. Oh, that's right. I, the only reason I bought these mushrooms was to cook them in the fry shrooms, and I never actually did that, so it's kind of pointless. <laughs> sure. I see what you're doing here, making an easy business, just farming some dizzy dials from outside and then selling them for 10 coins. Free money, relatively quickly. I'll respect the grind. Now, how are my items anyways? Um, oh, I, yeah, I have fried the fried egg, I have spaghetti, I'm f perfectly fine. <laughs> While we're here, though, I might as well say hello to Chuck Quizmo. Shoot, I was just in town, and I did not pay attention at all, and yet I still somehow managed to save the day. Thank goodness. As, speaking of which, did I ever mark off the star piece for delivering the letter? I don't think I did. I guess I can double check because I haven't traded in any yet. One more. You know what? I'm not really in the mood for quizzing too much. Where are booze exactly? <laughs> this is a vanilla thing. <laughs> Cheats, bees, ghosts. I thought we were going to get into the deep lore of what makes a booze in the first place, and I wasn't sure if I would be ready for that sort of excitement. I gotta go to 20 at least. At least round it out. Actually, wait, Chuck Quizmo says is question number 20. I miss a count on the quiz somewhere? For now. Eventually I'm gonna trade these for... Wow, my count's way off. Eventually I would s presume that I'm gonna trade these star pieces in. And at that point... It's gonna become a lot harder to keep track. Koopa Koot has errands. Is Koop will Koopa Koot let me do errands? Not until I get rid of the fuzzies. Like, the only thing I think he would have that I would really find value... <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna even bother. I know there's a badge here, but... Wow. I take the effects badge thing over here. Yeah, Cooper, it's fine. It's not your shell. You're... A in perfectly tip-top, hunky-dory shape. I don't really see a reason to go play that minigame. He can keep the mushroom. He deserves a little snack for being a good boy and not taking people's shells for once. Ah, uh, but then we're going to be stuck with the music and the Koopas are going to be in chaos. 
You know, that's great. I'm too nice a like, guy not to. Modern. Let's just get it over with. There might be an item that I missed. And I don't think we'll. I was gonna say, maybe we'll trigger the scene of giving Cooper a shell, but the more I think about it, the more I realize that it's not really relevant because we have Cooper already and it's not a party shuffler. I just wanted to get rid of the fuzzies. Hop. I just can resist. So where are you going to go next, little bouncy fella? Twice in the it must have been pure luck. No, I'm serious. You'll never guess where I'm hiding now. You'll never guess where I'm hiding with my brightly colored mushroom. It's a shame. I didn't even want the mushroom. There's probably like some side quest that... Tied to it. Actually, that that reminds me, like, how does the trading quest fit into all this? Um, why am I thinking of trying anyone besides Cooper? Like this long range, everyone. Uh, exists. Actually, is this fight shuffled? It is. <laughs> that guy's not even supposed to be in this chapter. What are you doing here? Get out of here! Why do I even bother wasting time picking out what partner to take out? I forgot I could just mega quick everything. Which reminds me, I can probably like put power smash back on. I don't need this. Focusing isn't really necessary. When, when like a no deep focus and one focus pretty much gets me back to full star power anyways at this point. Hey, at least I got the music back. And hypothetically, I could go help out Koopa Koots. I mean, like, his free access into free money, I mean the game corner. Oh, and this is a Repel Gel now? Um... I'll come back for it later. Repel Gel is actually good in this game! <laughs> But I don't really have the inventory for it now. I'm pretty sure I'll use some of it up on our way out. Right, this is a badge, which means it could be some other item. And it's a mushroom. Oh well. Let's see if there's anything else around here. Maybe we will actually do chapter one today. Oh, oh, there's the red berry. I mean, like, if I can go, if I go through chapter one and actually find, like, for one, I miss Bombette, even though everyone else finds her useless. Cool, graffiti works for the super shroom just fine. I'm okay with trashing a normal mushroom for it. In fact, let's just. Play around. I was gonna say use a dizzy style. But I forgot we already had dizzy shell, so it's kinda pointless. Not completely pointless because FP is kinda valuable to me. But not as valuable as I thought inf literally infinite dizzy dials would be. In fact, I can probably add that onto the note. Yep. Well, at least there's nothing stopping me from doing this now. Oh yeah, attack scales too. Might not be a bad idea to actually start fighting some enemies so I actually get a level up so I don't get decimated by the level curve since that's based on key items and not actual battles you do. Oh, first, um... Let's backtrack here and make sure I didn't miss out on any items. I don't recall if there's... 
really any items of worth. Hidden around in Pleasant Path before going there. And I'm half tempted to go back and just heal, restore my FP. But maybe I'm just being a little stingy. Uh, like I said, Dizzy Dials are infinite. I probably should have put some more items away, but I thought it was. I could have thought I was actually good enough to use them up more. Speaking of. Maybe I should go back and store up. Okay, I think. Okay, I remember. I got. I got confused. These are normal Goombas. I just didn't recognize them because they had more HP. And they had the same exact color scheme as a different enemy in Dark Star. <laughs> so for some reason, I thought it was a completely different enemy. That wasn't even supposed to show up in that chapter. Alright. No, I could really use some jump upgrades, though. All the more reasons that it might not be a bad idea to go to the Boo's Mansion and get the super jump. Um, I might not have access to... I might not have access to that, though, until I get the weight. Oh, and there's literally nothing I can do over this way until I go to Cut and See Way. Forgot about that. Do I really want to go to the Koopa Bros Fortress now, though? I guess I'll, I can at least put away some items while I'm thinking of that and getting the FP while I'm here. So, I guess I'll at least go through Cooper Bros. Fortress until I can't anymore. Because I don't think I have all the items I need there. And unless the game's going to be kind enough like it was before and just have all the items pop up in the same dungeon that I need them for. The best I'm probably going to be able to do is just get some key items for somewhere else in the randomizer. But I guess we'll see. Of course, now when I need... The HP is not there. Alright. I wasn't getting that much experience from fights. So I could probably dodge a couple. Oh, thank you, Invisible Locker, for showing yourself. Just when I got done getting rid of my coconuts, you know. Again. Oh! <laughs> I guess I'll take this. I mean... I don't... Makes me kind of wish I actually upgraded BP, but well, what you gonna do? And you know what? Uh, just to save myself a trip later, might as well. Like I kind of like have a soft rule at this point where it was specifically for plot progression. I'm gonna avoid using ghosts unless I have to. But if it's just for one item that wouldn't be the worst to backtrack either way, then I'm gonna go with that. There we go! <laughs> this at least gives me the opportunity to get another item. And I at least have... The backtrack back? Uh, don't worry about him, Bet. We're gonna get you back soon. For right now, though... No, I'm mean, thinking gonna pull out Paracarry, because I think it might be fun. Oh! I never actually noticed that that was where the chest was until now. Despite the fact I've probably seen that zoom out several times in the past. I might have some fun with Paracarry and just see how much we, how much having an early partner wrecks things. I completely forgot that we had Lacklesser. Oh, and he is upgraded too. He does four. Gumbario probably... Yeah, and we have Cloud Nine. I think we're gonna have some fun in this place. Maybe we'll get to hear an old man sing. Alright. Let's... Moment of Truth. Do I get... Is it just because of the mold that I have that makes everything easy? And I don't have... And... What I'm trying to say... Is... If this item that this Koopa Bro 
drops. Oh, yeah, let's start over. What I'm trying to say is if the item that comes from this guy is the key that we need to progress forward, then I get the feeling that's going to be a trend for this randomizer going forward, and that it's exclusively just because I'm playing on the easy mode randomizer or something like that. And I don't have to expect to actually backtrack throughout dungeons and yep. That's the key for Koopa Bros Fortress, all right. All right, anyone here want a bus? Oh, sure, a star piece. Well worth it. <laughs> I'm sure I won't be able to make any progress in this place without that star piece. Ooh, so do I even have the item storage for that stop watch? I don't know, but I'm gonna take it <laughs> and run with it. Do I have time to just to, tempted to just go through all these areas with bomb bet now? And you know, I'm gonna. The game probably expects me to actually uh, use the ghost partner, so I might just get myself locked if I don't have. Bombette go in here and do her thing on these walls now. So I'm gonna just do it out of the way instead of like backtracking throughout this entire place only to realize after the fact that I can't do anything. It kind of just makes me wonder though where are the seeds? Because I get the feeling like it's nice to it's nice for avoiding unnecessary backtracking. But on the other hand, I kind of got the feeling that it's nice to have all the dungeon items actually in the dungeon instead of having to explore all around all these other places for it. But I kind of wonder if I'm missing out on some of the magic that way. Again, like, this wasn't my ideal seed, it's just a seed I made right when the, the randomizer came out. And I tried to make one more specific to my taste afterwards, but the site wouldn't work. I'm pretty sure if I were to try it now, the site would be fine, but I'm still invested into this run. Why would I change that? Well, I guess it's good I fought him, because then I would have completely forgotten about the fact that he dropped the switch. I can't believe I'm actually doing the first chapter only one chapter later. Like, I should, like, be trying to have a bit more fun with this than that. Oh well. I'm gonna have a little fun by going out over here when... Oh yeah, and this gets me to bomb bed a lot quicker. And it's just gonna be more fun for everyone involved at that point. So if I just realized I'm probably not going to use Bombat because she's not upgraded and everyone else is. And maybe I'm speaking too soon. Alright. Actually, out here probably doesn't count as part of a dungeon, so maybe there's a key item that we need over here. Especially as we got refund troll. We got refund already, so it can't be that. Oh, it's one of the fortress keys that I actually need. And I just realized I haven't been tracking my fortress keys. Well, now's a good time to say you need to do that. Ooh, what is ominous question mark block just sitting right in this perfectly non trapdoor shaped platform? What do you know? It was a trap. Who would have saw that coming? <laughs> kind of funny to watch Perry Carry fall when, you know, he can fly. I made the right choice. Oh, what was that? This this fall from somewhere? Who, what, where, why, how? Yeah. Okay, I guess that's there in case we need to heal. 
Yeah, you're locked up here because of your menace. Let's throw over the Koopa Bros Empire together. I meant to say no. Oh, no. I meant to say yes, I was just going for text too quickly. <laughs> It's not like I actually can get out of here without you. Alright. Yes, yes, you blow up walls. I may or may not have already been doing that. See? There we go. Makes me wonder how the scene works when you don't technically have Bombette yet. <laughs> 